lost about 108 kilos, right? Which is massive. Over 100 kilos, okay, yeah. Over 100 over kilos, 110, right. something like that, whatever. Um, when you're that big and that, no, and that size, you had no choice between doctors and everyone else um, and thinking to yourself going, where am I going to go? <clears throat> what am I going to do with the rest of my life? And literally there you just turn around and go, I've got to do something about this. Do you realise how many people you've inspired? To the full degree, no. But I know there's a lot of people out there, the ones that actually do approach me and say, and they commend me and they, they turn around and they tell me that they're motivated. <coughs> and inspired, as you said, to do things. It's, it's, I don't know exactly how many people, but yeah, there are, I know there are people out there. Look, to be honest, um, when, when Jerry first came and seen me, compared to how he is now, just within himself, the way he carries himself, um, when he came to me, you know what I'm like, it's a challenge for me. Um, so with open arms, I took him on board, but I made it perfectly clear to him that it wasn't gonna be easy and it's a day-to-day -day grind, not just in the gym, but what you do outside of the gym. Um, and to be honest, Jerry was up for it. Um, he, he just kept on on and said, yes, I'll, yes, let's do it. There was no, there was no negativeness. There was, he, he, he wanted to take that challenge. You now, when you walk in, they always, you know, warm, um, especially when you're <coughs> of that size, when you're for the initial months and all the rest, you know, you do get intimidated. It's um, it's the unfortunate thing with, which is unfortunate with all gyms. They've, there's a stigma uh, around them, and um, the staff and everyone here, and the whole family and the whole community has made it more than more than warm and and homely to come in here. Mm. So that helped. There's got to be a lot to do with. He loves training with you. And, and obviously, he's got along really well. Oh. I'd like to think so. <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> no, yeah, he does. Um, and, I, and I think it comes down to um, making each other feel comfortable. Progression. Um, if, if he wasn't, if Jerry wasn't feeling it, he wouldn't be coming back. Um, he's walking, walks out of the gym, goes back to work, has something to eat. We get a text message about an hour later, an hour or two later. He gets a feel great. And then we just keep on rolling with it. Day in, week in, month, and this is where we are. So, yeah, it works hand in hand. And we work well together. We really do. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the one thing I said to a lot of the people that, just, that come up to me and talk to me and all this. I go, yeah, it's around the corner for me. I'm fortunate. But it's around the corner for everyone. A lot of people yeah. live in Kuji. And the facilities and what you guys have done here, and what you guys have developed and, and transformed here, uh, from what it was, is 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 uncommendable for you guys and for the community to be healthier. Look, if I can if I can backtrack to my early years of when I first started training um, back in the day, and as you know, it was a constant grind for us to learn how to weight train properly and are we doing the right reps sets. The constant battle of trying to get some muscle. So, and over the years, being around certain people and learning a lot of techniques, we've learnt a lot. A lot of mistakes, a lot of good times. So then, coming into this place and, and, and personal training, I'm thinking to myself, I just want to give back. It's almost like the results are on me. Um, and it feels great. It really, really does. How's it transformed in the last 30 years? Uh, maybe I'm getting older and getting wiser. I don't know. <laughs> to continue training, healthy lifestyle, um, inspire other people, which I think he's already doing that now, but he doesn't know it, but he is. Um, there is an end goal. I mean, when I say end goal, it doesn't end there, but we just want to, once we get to that progression, then we can just keep on going forward. Uh, but if we pick something that's too far ahead, there might be damage control in between that. Um, it is pressure, but at the end of the day, you're not doing it for everyone else. Mm. You know, it's like, <clears throat> I had the decision, I took the decision last year, and I said, I'm not doing it for family, I'm not doing it for friends, it's for me. I have to do it. If I want to be around, if I want to be still part, you know, I've got to do something. 